Hey, what up guys, Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video blog. So let's talk about Webflow. I was toying around with Webflow yesterday for about two hours and um, two hours before I went to bed. Today I was toying around with it for about an hour and a half. So about three and a half hours I've been toying around with this for the first time. And I just have to say that I'm getting goosebumps when I'm, as I'm diving deeper and deeper into this application and how much I'm falling in love with this app. I am turning the corner. I have turned the corner for a while now, but turning the corner and really using these type of tools to build your sites. Tools, basically, if you don't know what Webflow is, Webflow is a tool, an application that allows you to develop and build your site without using any code. So you can build elements and what it does, it produces the code for you. Very sharp, uh, cutting edge, semantic, code um, you know and so for the longest time these type of WYSIWYG tools have had a stigma about them about not really using these these tools type of tools because they always spit out garbage code okay and I sort of equate technology like this to like back surgery back when I was 28 I injured my back um, really bad herniated disc, bulging disc in my lower back. I was playing basketball at LA Fitness and I injured my back. Long story short, I held off for over six, seven years to get to not get surgery because it was bad. It was bad where it was, it was like sciatica going down my leg, all that tough like sciatic nerve. It was pinching against my nerve. And I held off on surgery because back then, or like, you know, I was, I would always say, surgery is going to improve in the next five six years right so I kept holding off holding off because back then they would make an incision like this this big in your back open your back up and do your surgery and then you'll be out for like three weeks to a month basically laying on bed laying in bed and um, because I had actually had a friend or a co-worker who actually had that done so I would always hold off people would say Mike hold off on your back you know surgery and wait till technology improves. Today, God forbid, I mean, thank God that my back healed up somehow. I don't know how. I started working out, stretching. It healed up after like six or seven years. I was hang, I would hang upside down. Anyway, if you have a back injury, hit me up. Um, today, they could go on your back with these two little pins, looking at a little microscope, and with, you know, numb your back up. You could be out. It's an outpatient shirt surgery. You can be out walking down the street or going home that same day within two hours from your back surgery. And that's crazy. That shows you how technology has improved. The point of the story is technology like these WYSIWYGs have improved to the point to where you have to start looking at these things now. There is no way, no reason for someone like a designer to not invest and maybe look in these applications like Webflow. There is no reason for you to code all your media queries for all the different devices, mobile, tablet, desktop, landscape mode. Uh, I mean, Webflow does all that for you. It has all the con containers, div containers. You have, you can, you can dive deeper into these components and you can style them the way you want to. You have full control over everything. Here's my advice to you also. My workflow, I don't like when people design in the browser. I never tell people to do that. I know a lot of designers or developers love that, love doing that. But here's what my advice is to you. Design your pages in Photoshop, okay? Design all your pages, just your desktop version in Photoshop you know get everything pixel perfect and then bring that into and then recreate that in webflow do not start your designs in webflow why because anytime you start your designs in a browser or in a WYSIWYG you basically let that sometimes you will let that application dictate certain design elements and components so you might lay out some text but you might allow that application to dictate how long you want that text or what position that text would be in whereas if you were designing it like in Photoshop you would never do it that way you would style it a little differently you would 
maybe position it a little differently the, the margins might be a little little more perfect right in your design app in your design mock-up so that's why I say don't start it in in Webflow design all your stuff in Photoshop fireworks whatever sketch and then move once you're done and everything's pixel perfect and you like it and it's pretty and you're like oh this is nice I want to do I want to develop this then start developing that in Webflow and recreate that in Webflow. Webflow, I'm not even getting paid for this. I'm telling you, this is the first time. Zach, a member of my course, a member of my site, actually shot me an email the other day. He said, Mike, um, have you checked out Webflow? I actually saw another video of this designer working with Webflow. And it just, you know, those two things got me excited. I heard of Webflow before. I'm like, you know what, let me check it out because I want to update my app, I mean, my site. I have a bunch of landing pages that I need to, to build. Um, I have my wife's real estate website that I need to update. My friend who's a plumber is asking me to, he has a product that he wants to sell and he's asking me to help him with his site. Um, you know, so many different things. And I said, you know, let me give Web, Webflow a try. And I tried it and I mean, I'm falling in love with it. And you know, I somebody shot me on Twitter earlier today and um, it was a developer who was saying like how he doesn't really like these type of tools because it's cutting into his discipline and I understand that and that's the nature of the business per se and so the way I see it is I think developers um, because my response to him was me as a UI UX designer I don't get paid to code right so I'm not biased towards learning to code or not learning to code you know I always say yeah I learn basic HTML but my life my lifeline isn't built around coding and so I, I sympathize with front-end developers whose lifeline is around coding and apps like this are cutting into their sort of their sort of discipline in a way right it's cutting them out it's allowing designers like myself to uh, like someone who doesn't have any coding skills to actually now build really cool responsive websites with awesome amazing code and um, you know I get that I sympathize with that I don't have a, a really uh, I don't have a answer as of yet into to you know one way or the other on, on, on that particular issue but I know that um, these type of apps are here to stay um, just like with um, and designers face the same issue with like UI kits and that's I I posted a video a while back talking about these these UI kits and, and designs are becoming standard and we need to be, start becoming problem solvers and that's where the true value is going to be long term and you know um, my, my, my message to front-end developers who might be in you know who see these apps these type of apps as threatening to their careers don't be that way companies companies will always have a need for front-end developers you know HTML CSS JavaScript right is just in the freelance world that's where you might see some of that cutting into the market in terms of designers not really needing you to help them per se whereas maybe in the in the past they needed to reach out to you to, to help you develop some sites for them but now designers are able to do, to design and develop sites themselves so more to come on that topic but anyway just wanted to mention to you that I was excited about Webflow getting goosebumps falling in love with it and uh, I'll be talking with the folks at Webflow a little more um, because once I tweeted this um, someone there tweeted at me maybe I'll be on a, a talk with them and uh, I can share my workflow with them a little bit more on how I'm using it so we'll see anyway if you have if you're interested check out Webflow I don't have any affiliation with them they're not paying me for this video at all I just started using it last night I've been using it for about 3.5 hours um, at the time of this video so um, anyway, shoot me an email or shoot me a, a comment in the video. Let me know your thoughts. Have you used Webflow? Have you used anything similar? You know, do you think you might be trying it out? Let me know. Hit me up. Thanks for watching, commenting, and liking my videos. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. If you want to learn about the course and the things that I teach, check out my site, mlwebcode.com. And uh, we'll be talking soon, guys. Thanks. Bye.